Namaste, my kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending everyone watching this video peace, love, healing, and prosperity, and always health and wealth. Alrighty, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and leave your comments down below, Taurus. This is a bonus read for Taurus. You all have you all have given me the most views as far as zodiac content. Um, so um, to show my appreciation, I am providing you all with a bonus love in general love in general reading for today. It is January 9th. <laughs> So the energy will be surrounding today, but remember energy is um, interchangeable, energy is fluid, so um, this may resonate today, tomorrow, it may be a past energy, you know, just depending on you and your situation, alright? So I'm going to start by hopping in with the Romance Angels. Let's see the current energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. In regards to love, I hope you all are doing well, doing amazing, having a beautiful day, keeping your energy and your vibrations high, all right, at all times, or as much as you can, all right, Taurus, calling your calling in your soulmate. All right, so a lot of you may be calling in your soulmate. Um, Spirit wants you to know your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations are helping bring you two together. So maybe um, some of you are missing your twin flame or your soulmate. All right, and you're currently calling them in. All right, we have codependency. Um, addictions are affecting your romance, your romantic life. And then make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right. So if I feel like if some of you are in a separation, it was due to codependency. So the separation was definitely needed. All right. Um, but I feel like for others of you, um, it's been um, long enough or um, you feel that now it's time to call that person in or it's time to make the effort with this person and um, maybe reach out. All right. So, again, that will be for some of you. Okay, why is calling in soulmate here? Why is calling in your soulmate here? Pretorius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. One Carver, thank you. All right, we have two, two beautiful cards. We have love and we have ascending. Ashe, hold on a second. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I don't want you to hurt yourself. See? Going too fast. All right, sorry about that, Taurus. So we have love and we have ascending. This is beautiful. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. And then we have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Wow. So with calling in your soulmate here, a lot of you know for a fact, okay, this is true love. This is passion. Okay. Um, a lot of you have took the time in the separation to master self-love, to become one with yourself. Alrighty. 
and learn how to embrace and show affection and attraction towards your lover, okay? In this regard, you have transcended, okay? You have gotten over obstacles with this person, alrighty? Um, there's a new phase and you have prepared for union um, divinely, okay? Now, we do have karmic relationship, though, at the bottom of the deck, but I feel like that's for very few of you. Why is codependency here? Or you could have been in a codependent uh, relationship with the karmic partner. Why is codependency here? All right, that's too many. All right, let's see. Whoa. All right, why is codependency here? Okay, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. All right, so you guys may have had a sense of codependency to this person due to them bringing you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and you became dependent on that person providing that for you. Whereas with the love card here, you needed to um, embrace self-love and learn how to love yourself and bring yourself happiness and joy and expansion. And I feel like a lot of you have done that. So now you're very well able to move forward in a divine union, all right? And not depend on this person for these things, for paradise, okay? You already have that within. So whatever this person brings you is just um, extra icing on the cake, all right? And what's make the effort, okay? What's make the effort for Taurus, my opposite sign? What is make the effort? Why is make the effort here? Provide me with one card for make the effort for Taurus. All right. So we have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation, all righty? So a lot of you maybe have ha um, maybe had an epiphany that, um, you know, it's time to make the effort with this person. I feel like a lot of you may have um, taken some steps back. We have healing heart at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, a lot of you took some time to heal your heart, okay, to... Um, to embrace who you really are, okay? Because the only way a relationship can be successful and move on successfully is when the two people are very sure and clear of who they are as an individual. And I feel like that's what needed to happen um, before moving forward in this connection. All right, Taurus. All right, so let's see here. All right, you guys may be getting some shocking news um, on today. Um, you guys may get some surprises. I feel like somebody may surprisingly reach out to you. Um, and you're going to be like, wow, this person is really making the effort here. Alrighty. Someone who you thought, uh, could never do that. All right. I feel like your soulmate, um, was also, um, working on healing themselves. Okay. We have the two of cups and we have the queen of pinnacles here. All right. So, yeah, some some of you may have attracted somebody new in the midst of this separation. It could have been an earth sign. Um, um, it could have been an earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. All righty. But I feel like you all may have attracted this person because you're showing up in your reading, Taurus. So I feel like you all are resonating, um, are radiating a vibration that is calling people in. You're being very alluring, okay? You're in your energy, okay? Very successful, very abundant, okay? Very influential in people's lives around you, all righty? Okay, what else do we have here for Taurus? A lot of you have been very focused on your abundance, alrighty, you know, your home life. Some of you may have children. I just got twins here. Um, let's see. Wow, we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. There's that divine partnership. All right. 
So we have the Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Wow. So you guys are probably, um, <laughs> you probably are meeting new people very quickly at a rapid pace. Um, but I feel like for some of you, if you do indulge in um, a new connection with this Two of Cups, it will not last because I feel like your divine partner whom you're calling in, okay, your true love that you were looking forward to ascending with, okay, will be coming in very soon, okay, very quickly. Also with the Knight of Wands, okay, that, that King and Queen of Pentacles, that's, what, that's like I said, both of you have been um, working on yourself, okay, yeah. And you're choosing each other, okay? When you all come together, there's going to be some sexual, sexual energy, great love making. Somebody might get pregnant. I told you I heard twins. So, okay, be careful. I'm also getting sex magic, okay? Yeah, we have the death card at the bottom of the deck. New beginnings, okay? An ending brings new beginnings, okay? Ten of Pentacles, all right? That's home, that's love, that's um, children, that's pets, that's um, estate, real estate, um, businesses. Um, oh, my goodness. So, yeah, then we have justice, all right? Some of you may definitely be going to um, maybe some... You guys will definitely be maybe getting married i feel like also some of you may be going through a separation or a divorce which calls maybe a um separation in this connection but you very well will be coming together with this person all right okay so i'm gonna pull a surrender card for you taurus and then that will be your bonus read for today all right this is beautiful energy we have love we have ascension we have paradise wow we have the king and queen of pentacles with the knight and the ace of wands i love that all right what does taurus need to surrender right now provide me with one surrender card for taurus for taurus of moon rising please all right what does Taurus need to surrender? Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Wow, you're ready, Taurus. You all have been doing the work or you will be beginning to do the work and you are preparing yourself for union exactly what it says here on the ascending card transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union all right that is beautiful so i'm going to go ahead and leave it there taurus i hope this helps again make sure you like share and subscribe and leave your comments down below below and i will see you in my next video i love you Hashem.